And new here at 530, it is the amazing technology that is allowing the colorblind to see what they've never been able to see before. And tonight, ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler has the story of a Major League Baseball player who lives here in the Bay Area who just saw living color for the first time. And Dayton. Grant Dayton didn't even know he was colorblind until 10 years ago when he got LASIK surgery. He always jokes about he not thinking he's really colorblind just because it's his normal vision. He knows no difference. But now the Atlanta Braves pitcher who lives in Winter Haven does know the difference. His wife, Corey, surprised him with special and chroma glasses for colorblindness. When Grant put them on, he was almost speechless. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was afraid these wouldn't work. Grant, who only sees about 10% of color, says everything looks more vibrant with the glasses on, especially the red on his Braves jersey. Oh, my gosh. And the stitches on a baseball. But I'm not convinced that I couldn't have been a hitter. <laughs> if, if I could have seen the laces and the spin better. But because I just I can't believe a baseball really looks like that. According to Enchroma, one in 12 men have some form of color blindness. For women, it's much less common. Oh, man, it makes everything else look brown when I take them off. I'm thinking Christmas, all the, the decorations and everything. Oh, yes. Oh, that's going to be amazing for him to see that because our tree is red and green. Obviously, <laughs> we have an elf tree for the kids, so it's got red and green polka dots and stripes, and that's going to be really fun for him to see that she's been sneaking away making phone calls and uh you know i didn't know what was going on but <laughs> i'm glad she did You're glad it's i have honestly i have no idea how much effort she put into it except i'm here talking to you guys and tiger woods jack nicholas vinnie testaverde and christian mccaffrey are just a few of the high profile athletes who are also colorblind in winter haven eric waxler abc action news